I'm going to the central. It was a really lovely place. It's been such a long time since I've been to the concert. Hello everyone and welcome to a new vlog. It's been a while, but I finally can take you <laughs> to London with me. I do have some plans for the day. So first of all, I'm going to the Central to have an afternoon tea with a friend. And later on, I'm still not 100% sure what I'm doing, but let's find out soon. <laughs> so I will be filming today and I feel so happy to finally make a video for this channel because I used to do it every week, but there have been some delays so let's catch up on what's been happening in london basically <laughs> what a fun little intro to the vlog it was when in reality my life is a mess i mean guys if i can tell you how many days i spent being just depressed because of the obvious situation in my home country how many days i spent just wondering what is going on and how many days i spent just asking myself why do we have to live in a world when tomorrow is literally not guaranteed but today is not about that today is about enjoying life while we're still here on this planet earth and trying to distract myself from these events so i'm not gonna go too deep in the situation i hope you understand and my sister she is actually staying at home uh, today because sometimes she just wants to spend time by herself which is absolutely normal also she doesn't like to be on camera so that's why i feel like today is a good time to film a vlog show you london and just enjoy the sunny weather So after the bus journey, I made it to Baker Street. Today there are some tube delays because it's Sunday and sometimes on the weekend because I live not in zone one, there are delays on the tube. Anyways, I made it to Baker Street and now I'm on my way to Marble Arch because there's supposed to be like a Ukrainian march today. I believe it's called like that, like a march when people collectively go somewhere and famous singer Tina Karel made it to Ukraine as well. I've been listening to her songs a lot because she is like one of the most popular people in Ukraine and literally like those songs are so emotional and they always give hope. So I'm super happy that she made it to London to support and yeah, she came for a good cause. So yeah, we'll see if I have time to make it there and then run back to afternoon tea. By the way, I forgot to mention it's Queen's Platinum Jubilee this summer, early June, we'll have two days of how lucky is that? And you will see decorations everywhere, like the flags, of course. And I've been to a couple of themed afternoon teas, including the bus afternoon tea tour and in the hotel. It was super nice experience. I'm already feeling this festive mood and hopefully we'll see more events in London, of course, to celebrate this occasion. So some really historical events. <laughs> back from the march of uh, mothers uh, ukrainian event uh, i didn't plan it well at all because i forgot what time it is i have to meet my friend so i left the march earlier uh, I, right now i need to cross the road and carefully um, but as always with these events you know um, it's quite heartbreaking because they are reminding of all the events that are happening right now and then the world should not forget about those issues and also the famous singer Tina Karel was there today as well I've never seen her live before so it was like really new but of course you could see the pain in her eyes in her words and I don't have words to describe you how much I hate this world right now because of the everything that's going on and I don't know, it's just constant pain and I just wish for it to stop. You know, 
I said at the start that I won't be focusing on uh, the conflict today in my video, but I feel like as a Ukrainian, like I just cannot be silent here, not into politics at all, like I was before. I just want to let you know that everything that we're observing right now in the news, it's not even a conflict, let's put it that way. There is a side of the truth and side of Russian propaganda. Like Ukraine just wants to be independent, Russia is not giving it a chance. And that's all you need to know. And that's why the world is fighting with it. And because of the actions of Russian Federation, people just lost their lives. They lost their homes, jobs, everything like that you can imagine like in terms of the normal lifestyle has been taken away and this is really hard to believe and unless you are experiencing it and the stories that i'm hearing it's all truth and it's just heartbreaking to see that we live in 2022 and people have to go through this especially kids like honestly this is so unbelievable So I'm just coming back from the afternoon tea experience. It was a really lovely place, like the decorations in there are so nice. I mean, you saw and the actual tea is quite unique actually. I've never seen desserts in the pots like this before. So we really enjoyed it. And fun fact, it's actually like a tea is not a tea. It's like a cocktail just made in a pot. So it's cold and it's so good because right now the weather is hot so it was so nice to have something um, cold so i recommend that afternoon tea really good and then i went back to the protest ukrainian protest again we were opposite the russian embassy because that's the right place to be right now uh, those people need to know what damage their country is doing now i am walking back I still haven't decided if I want to go to a concert today or not but I'm going in a lovely park so I don't know if you can see it or not but I'm super upset because after you spend time as a protest you have all of those emotions back in you and I don't have words it's just pain you can see pain in the eyes pain in people's voices So after my walk in the park, I did decide to go to the concert. I got some water because it's a super hot day. I mean, it doesn't seem like it now because it's windy. <laughs> but anyways, there are quite a lot of people. I walked by the place where the concert will be. There's still a huge queue. So I decided just to do more walking, <laughs> but excited, really excited. <laughs> Відтоді, коли нас об'єднала біда. Цей концерт не такий, як звикли ми завжди. back from the concert i mean i didn't wait till the very end because i don't want to be home quite late and it's around 9 pm it's just like it doesn't get too dark in london quickly these days it's been such a long time since i've been to the concert so i forgot you have to wait like uh two hours for the main singer to appear so it was like a lot of waiting basically but when we saw tina carol it was amazing she is just great performer so i enjoyed it all of the songs are close to my heart as well so it was a really nice experience but now i'm on my way home so i just thought i would thank you so much for watching uh, this video and as always i hope to see you very very soon in the new video bye <laughs>